basically it was um, you know the most high energy day that I've ever seen down here, and the only day that even compares to that in the whole um, you know Greenspan um, um, irrational exuberance. Uh, statement, which really sent the market, you know, for quite the ride. You know, I had recently started working with a new group of guys and some new traders a couple weeks before that. It was really important to me to just really communicate the energy or lack thereof that was developing in the pit in front of me. And in order to do so, it required, you know, all of everything that I had. So as the market was becoming real high energy, I, I you know, the focus, the attention, the commitment, and and. Um, you know everything that we were putting into it. It just continued. It continued to snowball, and so it got to the point. Literally, I, I mean, I was I was jumping out of my shoes at one point, and I've never seen anything like that down here. I, I got to be honest. I'd be shocked if we see it again. It was, it was the most intense day that I've seen down here, and it was just a privilege to be a part of it. When you're when you're in there um, watching what's going on in the pit. Um, and I know you're not trading, obviously you're, you're, you're broadcasting. Can you, A, get a feel for where, where markets are going and do you kind of, can you kind of see um, a setup maybe early on in the day? I've been on the trading floor for 20 years and I, I, I always tell people that the first day down here is a runner. Literally, the first order I walked into the pit, the guy looks at me and he goes, kid, what are you doing down here? Don't you know this place is about to close? So, so basically, if I had listened to that guy, I would have never experienced any of what I've experienced. Would have never done flash crash audio. Would have never worked with any of the clients or met you or all of the, you know, personal growth that I've made and, and um, you know, the whole experience would just been out the window, just like that guy. And, and and I haven't seen him, but my guess is he's working somewhere in a bar. You know, he's probably. And don't get me wrong, I, I've worked in bars too. It's, it could be worse, but but my guess is he's, he's gloom and doom. And he's probably drowning in the in the liquid. Um, ben, uh, one, one of your uh, one of your fans here asking if you use market profile to determine your value uh, value points or some other uh, technical system like pivots or just uh, or just the price. Um, I do use market profile, and I also use bar charts because I, I've done a lot of work with market profile.